So, internet must be stabilized, and so will this match start. Let's see what happens right here between Boss Luigi and Zephyr's Cloud. So, no switch just yet. I mean, obviously, he's going to try to go ahead and do the matchup uh, with his main. But, you know, if this does not go that well, I could definitely uh, see a switch. Mm. Ah, which I would like to see probably with like Wario. You know, Wario's got some decent hands, dude. He allows you to uh, maneuver in and out. And he also got the bike as well. So, let's see exa exactly how this works out there, man. And he pretty much also has his own bootleg limit with the fart. But then, like, Luigi has his own X Factor with the up B. And then all he needs to do is catch one bad landing from Zephyr. But the way Zephyr's playing today, I don't think he'll really get that chance. Boss will probably have to combo into it or just, like, you know, force a really bad edge guard situation in order to take early stocks. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I feel like this will be mostly honest. Well, as honest as these two characters can be played. Oh. Alright, Zephyr. Starting to eat it. Starting uh, nice with some good reads right there. Wow, great spacing. This. Oh my An god, he flew. Guy. Oh my god. Jesus. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, was, that looked like it hit him when he was at like 999. <laughs> yeah. He flew immediately. Alright, so he's out there. First stock taken by Zephyr real easy. Oh, actually, there was a way that Boss could have punished that. You Sam actually put out a video of how to punish... Um, Cloud's landing when he's doing something like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's like anything faster than like frame four if you power shield on the way down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like something oddly specific, but there are ways. There are little tools that you can use in those situations. So you probably would have had to do uh, spot, uh, like that to down smash. Yeah, down smash, maybe jab might have worked too. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, a little bit more knowledge for y'all at home. But yeah, speaking of knowledge, boss is probably gonna have to make a pretty hard read in order for this to work, or he can just. Okay, he missed the um, edge guard situation there. But either way, he's like Zephyr's not too long for this world. Even on battlefield, a good back throw or just catching his jump, and that's gonna oh, be unless the nope, limit. Nope, no, no. Yeah, he was he was super low on limit before he even started that. So still a good try. I mean, still a good option to try. Definitely, if you know you're not gonna make that with regular RB, yeah. you're pretty far out. Out as a cloud, you gotta try it, man. Why not? Nothing else to lose. Okay, the back air was actually really clutch there by Boss, but Zephyr with a rare roll in. I've actually, I don't think I've seen him do that like all day. Yeah, it's a lot. Definitely been way more rollouts. Yeah. So, uh, oh wow. Oh my god. Lucky him. <laughs> yeah. Lucky him, man. Boss kind of messing around with the shield right here. Zephyr with the great spacing though. Every time with those back airs, kind of wait Boss to come on, come in, and then immediately get the back air for his troubles. And honestly, these two are playing like all over the stage, using every single advantage, and it's practically dead even. They're, I think this is kind of a hallmark of two players who've played each other quite a lot, because we aren't really seeing like a lot of flubs on spacing or like anything technical. They both know what they're going for, and it's pretty much just a matter of who chooses to do the right option at the right time. And then actually, Zephyr lost his limit, and I didn't see how it happened. It looks like he probably got stuffed out um, trying to catch a landing from Boss. Mm -hmm. Very high intense, uh, very intense game right here. Both of these guys clearly in kill, uh, kill percentage right here. Boss a little, a little more so, and uh, 120, and you know Zephyr being cloud. So yeah. with a limit now, is he gonna use it on the set guard? Nope, just let's boss the stage. And then okay, okay, I like the option for both the players using the down tilt to try and catch a, like an option. Boss knowing that off the bat just runs back, holds that up smash, but then the dash attack is gonna do it yet again. Dash attack such a good. It's like such a deceptive move uh, for Cloud. I mean, like, you know that it is, exists, but you forget about it all the time until you finally get hit by it again. You're like, wow, I just died to this. Because it's honestly, like, kind of a conditioning game that's inherent to Cloud's kit, because you're afraid of all those big aerials just coming out and, like, smacking you that you don't really think about the hitboxes on the ground, and the dash attack covers, like, his head to his feet. So you can't really land on him with anything, because that's a pretty big sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a good move. Great move, even. <laughs> so... Zephyr taking game one, just barely, and if this is anything like, you know, what I've seen from both these players from all day, we're probably going to see a game three, because neither of these players are really going to go quietly. 19, that did 19%. 19 I just kind of saw that. 19 easy. Oh so again, my god. Look at that, man, just racking it up. Boss, oh, Boss getting that neutral player, but not getting the follow-up that he probably wanted us to, I was expecting kind of a grab, but getting jabbed out of that situation. Here we go. Now he's on the on his us uh, start with oh platform's helping him out just a little bit right there too i mean as uh, like platform pressure in this game uh 
it's kind of unique uh, in the way where like it's really hard uh, as someone on the platform to uh, deal with it or well, if the moves are really safe like up tilts and whatnot because uh, there is like because of the lack of movement options in the game so uh, like more often than not if you're stuck in your shield on the platform you just have to jump away yeah I mean like shield dropping might be a thing in the future but for the most part yeah you're entirely right you just gotta either hold that shield damage or just dip yeah, I feel like a lot of people, enough people. I mean, it exists already, but uh, people definitely don't use it as much uh, in this game yet. Yeah, maybe like five years down the line. But yeah, one one perfect pivoting is all <laughs> uh, super explored, and everyone's like, "All right, we need something else." <laughs> yeah, but okay, I like that job getting him far away. He has to burn that limit now, and then oh, do you think Cloud or do you think Zeph just held down, or did he just choose to drift away from the ledge there? What do you mean? Like, because he didn't grab the ledge entirely, and it looks like he definitely could have. So, I don't know. I guess he just kind of called boss out, and then just a little bit too far there. He had to be a little bit closer, but... True. Yeah. All right. Oh, trying to dance around right there. Boss managed to get that first stock, though. Nice back air. Putting him off stage. And getting all of his limit back, too. Get bought him just enough time for that. The air dodge down. Still getting bodied. Yeah, boss actually looks like he was happy to let him have that limit because he got like four up tilts, a grab, and like 40, 50% just off of him being able to charge that limit that much. A good roll, and then that was a bad reaction. That was an even worse reaction from Zephyr. Oh my gosh, so much sloppy play right there. That was so unfortunate. The roll in to the up smash, and then he got behind him, missed the, uh, missed the up smash uh, from Zephyr, and then went for the side B, but ends up getting aired out of that. So good DI right there, at least by boss to get out of the uh, side B, but still. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I wouldn't have even messed with that down air right there, but I mean, you know what? He was, going, he was going. He was going ham. He yeah. needed. He needed to send a message. When you're feeling yourself, you're feeling yourself. <laughs> you, well, he, he didn't get to send the message uh, fully, but like he was trying. You know, it's kind of like he Zeph got the point. It's like, all right, you got it, man. <laughs> right, man you, you, you'll do something like that, all right, man. I, I see yeah. you. So as predicted, we got the game three situation in this is losers finals, right? Uh, this is yeah, this is finals. finals. Yeah. So, game three situation. Winner of this fights Snap. Or Scat. What? Are, what is what talking? Oh. Yeah, it's probably from the other side. Some little noises coming through in the background. Looks like we got the Z Mac tag coming in. Are we about to see L Little Mac? I mean. I'm gonna be so mad if he made this, makes this tag and then. Okay, I guess someone's probably watching the stream or something in the back. Oh, okay. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Well, that's that's definitely what you should be doing. Wow. Anyway, as the stream is happening in front of you, losers finals. But you know, whatever. We got the Z Mac coming through. I feel like he's probably playing this stream. That's the same dude I'm thinking of who was reading the chat. So anyway. <laughs> I'd be mad. You can just, just watch the stream. I'm just saying, like, you can just watch it live, dog. Just take three <laughs> steps. Anyway, so we got the Z-Mac, as you said. Uh, Z-Mac not starting off great just yet. And not starting, starting off, off at all. Got a hit, though. We take those. Not JV. No JV. We not got crops in the crowd. <laughs> okay, but Little Mac. Um, actually, in this matchup, I'm not sure how he does that well. Because Luigi, he approaches off in the air. And then... Unless, like, you make a hard commitment read with, like, an up smash or maybe, like, a couple perfect pivot um, up tilts. Mac doesn't have too many answers to that that will convert into a lot of damage. And then it looks like this little Mac choice might be the worst option that Zephyr could have taken. Because uh, this this was the ultimate game three mix up. Until you mixed yourself <laughs> up. Jesus. Somewhere out there, DJ Khaled is just out there smiling. He's like, congratulations, Zeph. You played yourself. You played yourself. All right, man. Let's see what we can do. He had his chance to get that, uh, that KO punch. That was immediately taken. Can't get these F smashes or anything like that. Oh, okay. I like that. I didn't expect that to reach. Yeah. Yeah. And does he still have a jump? Okay. Yeah, he does. He can't really go off stage right there. Nice, perfect pivot though. Definitely uh, a little pressure on him right there. Allow, not allowing that man to immediately roll in. But boss, not scared to just hold shield and not scared to just throw out that up smash. Good stuff right there for boss. We'll be making it in two grand finals from loser side. Play scat yet again. And yeah, that that little mag pick was something. That was something else, man. It was atrocious. That was that was a hey, man. Like you, you, you going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you going got really ahead. close to beating Scott last time. Here's another shot.